Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I just had a wake up call. Uh, the, a pretty big event is going to happen um, once I do Tuchanka. Uh, which is a priority mission which makes sense because that means it's a main mission blah blah blah. Um, but I was like oh my gosh I'm not ready for that one yet. I'm not ready for that. I'm not emotionally ready for any of this. So here we go, not all mindless insects, the Rachni are capable of feats of engineering comparable with any sentient species. While initially greeted with suspicion, the Rachni workers dispatched the Crucible and integrated into the project smoothly. They work especially well on tasks that benefit from group work, and senior Crucible staff members are learning to trust the Rachni with more complex problems. Yeah, baby. So it's good to keep them. They actually they do give you a really big boost. Grunt, the perfect program is sorted into the war, world, world without a past, a name, or a cause. After destroying the collectors with Commander Shepard, Grunt returned to Tuchanka to, earn, to learn what it meant to be Krogan. After countless arguments and brawls, the clans have granted Grunt a modicum of acceptance. Tough, wary, and cunning, the young Krogan knows that this experience will pay off. Now it's time to fight the Reapers. Um, so we did not get our lack company, which would have only given us 25 or 50 more points, I think. Um, so it makes more sense to take this one, but again, I don't know why Rex isn't punching me in the face, kind of, because it's like, it was, that's the second time you've really just been a jerk. Need something, Shepard? Did I already... I think I did. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan right. want us. I won't let them. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... Something wrong? Morden. Oh. <laughs> he got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Right on his butt. I don't know. I'm assuming it was his butt. <laughs> but now we need to go to chat. You hear we had to evac another colony? Losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have colonies. These two are so violent. They're so violent. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians. Oh, now I can go to Benning. Okay. All right. Now I can go to Benning. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a reason I can't go quite yet. I need to go to the crew deck and talk to Morden and Eve. Where did Chakwa go? Mm, perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a... <laughs> Could. Oh. Uh, but should test with... <laughs> 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 Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. I'm kind of surprised it's still there. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Thing. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted right. glands now obsolete. Like, also explains her weakness. Glands up. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Let's see if you have anything. You don't have to get up. I feel bad. Something else, Commander? Hmm, doesn't look like it, I guess. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I do like that every time you get to chat with Eve, and, like, it's a very, like, cordial, like, handshake and everything doesn't always happen. And Shepard sounds genuinely happy to see her, you know? I think what I have to do for those two is walk in on them talking. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvak. 
They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. What are you doing over there? Oh, where? Okay. Still don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of a whole company. Grunt laughter. And I don't understand why they gave me whining pijacks for soldiers. Recruit. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kids. Run, kills. Runt. Grunt. Trying to meet with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. No one talks to you. Someone help him up. We move in an hour. Email from Dr. Locke to Admiral, Admiral Hackett. Security almost opened fire on the rack now when their ships pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they were let on board. Do people even know what Rachni look like? They probably do. They're following instructions, but my god. Do I have to tell you how nervous everyone in the project is to see Rachni struck down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff meeting counts. <laughs> my gosh, that would be rough. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror, and I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did you romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology we left behind? They left behind. Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Well, just because they were dirtbags doesn't mean it's anything less, you know, worth less studying. Like, I don't know. People spend their whole lives studying European history, and that's full of horrible things, you know? Like, Aztecs were bloody, yet towards, especially towards the end, you know, they had a lot of blood sacrifices. Like, doesn't mean, just because a group of people, at least, like, the leaders or, like, a group condone terrible things doesn't mean it's not worth studying. <sighs> She's going through denial stuff right now. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the I'm distraction. surprised, honestly. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. Depressing. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Is she still 109? Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Once again, I didn't turn off the speaker. Cool. Okay. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving oh, forward. Oh, please. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I'm just a soldier, you know? Like, I'm an exceptional soldier, but this is a lot. Like, these little things, I'm still not sure if the developers put them in as like a, yay, you're a hero, like, to boost your morale up, or if they put it in to make you feel the pressure, because, like, no other game puts the pressure on you as much as Mass Effect 3 does. And to me, I feel like, at least for my Shepard, th those kind of comments just make her feel uh, despondent, almost, you know? I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm so nice. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Do I need to chit-chat with people? Warp unlocked. Excellent find, Commander. What? The information network terminal has... Oh, this is for me? Uh, power recharge speed, yes. Gimme, give gimme. Give it's been updated. Love that. Let's go chit chat with everyone. I know I should go down to the people, especially who do. Like, I need to check their rooms for the ambient dialogue. Oh, Garrus is wandering! Maybe. He may be. Oh my gosh, he's wandering, you guys. They've started wandering. Garrus is in the lounge. Let's go. Chakwas, hang on. Hold up, hold up. Where's Chakwas? She's in the crew quarters with Engineer Adams. Oh ho. Should I not 
interfere. <laughs> They've been working together a long time. Hmm. That will change over time. I don't know if it already has. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Well, oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Yeah, I don't think I can... Well, can I? Oh. Hello, Commander. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just thought I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Yeah, she's a bit, um... extraneous. With, uh, Morden here. Uh, but no, I'm glad she can talk to somebody, though, because, like, I don't know, I feel like she hasn't had people that she can talk to about this. It wasn't the first time I faced Ragnar. Really? You've seen them oh before? Oh my gosh. A few years ago, <laughs> on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnar Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well... It didn't seem that way. At We're the just... But mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love the way that said. Oh, I need to wander the ship more. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. He's a good boy, that's for sure. He's a fighting machine. But no, it's so funny to have, because Garrus, I think, is a little more approachable than I am. I'm the commander. This is why I have a little, little, little ensign or whatever. Garrus is definitely the, like, cool uncle, maybe, to, like, my um, commander, I guess, vibe. Uh, that's so funny. And just hearing Garrus be like, like, when he was younger, I think he would have been a bit more boastful. And he is still a little boastful, but I think he does also have the, like, the years to be like, you know, oh, well, the time, really, we didn't, like, it was, you were just trying to stay alive. But, like, looking back, it's like, yes, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty insane. Um... Let's go down to engineering and make sure everyone's okay in engineering. I'm sure Javik has things to say. I lied. Let's see. We can poke him, though. Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Ragnai spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Ragnai were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. Yeah, I mean, it's that butterfly effect, right? Where it's like, uh, like, I don't know, and the Rachni seem exceptionally resilient. There was no such thing as trusting the Rachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so I'm kind of surprised they survived the Rachni or the Reaper extermination. Well, I guess the Protheans thought they had exterminated them, so the Reapers wouldn't be targeting the Rachni. And then the Rachni had enough time to develop. Well, even then, they actually didn't develop like real spacefaring technology until their relay was found accidentally, and people went through, and then they killed them and took their stuff. You know. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. 
Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I'm glad you got to meet him. I would prefer to be Totally alone. understandable. Gotta poke the resident. Sore. So, Rack 9, that must get your mouth watering. Can do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic. But wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Bye. I don't I'm like I'm like, oh time to talk to Tally. Tally is not here yet. I don't even know if she hangs out in here necessarily. I remember her hanging out with Garrus. Not all the time, but sometimes. Hey Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. <laughs> Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Yeah, buddy. Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Uh -oh. Sometimes I worry about it. <laughs> A bit of muzzle wear on this one. Ma'am. Ma'am. Yeah, he knows how to be respectful. I don't know why sometimes you can't take James to task a bit. He's a bit too casual. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. <laughs> Rachni, of all the things, that, <laughs> it's like you got the opposite of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. He's my boy. You're better looking. Well, thanks. <laughs> Do you hear that hum? Is that just uh, me? You're having a stroke, my guy. Oh yes, let's look into getting the claymore upgraded. Ten thousand credits, oh my gosh. I think we've got somebody using the Viper. I oh, don't freaking somebody ah, the Scorpion yes, I love it. Somebody's using the yeah, I don't know. I think do I have somebody still using the Avenger? I don't freaking know. Oh my gosh, I spent so much money. But the particle rifle no. No, okay, I will get the particle rifle because I do take what's his name out all the time. Javik. Rick, if I can remember which ones I actually freak Oh my god, are you taking a nap? Are you dead? Oh I got Oh my gosh, it looks like it's dead. This is my dog. Did it die? I didn't think I had to do anything with it. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's dead. I'm gonna crawl. It's like when your dog's behind you and you're in the kitchen and you trip over it and you're like, ah, because you back up into it and you don't realize it's like laying on the ground behind you. She said to take care of it, but it seemed like it was fairly self sufficient. I hope it's not dead. I hope it's just taking a recharge nap. I'm gonna cry. Oh, here's the blood dragon, though. I do love that one. Oh, should we give the the blood dragon a run for its mo It's so good. Hang on, what's the what's the health boost, shield boost, weapon damage, melee? That's good. Shield boost, power damage, power recharge. Not a bad armor set for me. Cerberus Ajax armor. That looks interesting. I actually do like that a lot, honestly. But I can't wear Cerberus armor because I'm not a monster. Oh, here's the modular one that I actually don't like the paint job I've done at all. I don't like the I don't like the paint job. Take it off. Yeah, no, we're not.
I'm not actually gonna do any of this, but it's, it is fun to mess with the modular armor. That looks bad, eh? How much the we don't have? That one's very skinny. I don't like it. The matching Ariaki shoulders, but that one's beefier. Headshot damage. I ain't about that. Melee damage and weapon damage, though? Yes. Oh, yeah. I think the Saris Council was the one I used because it has the power damage. And I always like that. Uh, uh, uh. This one's not bad, though. Anyway. I enjoy messing with these. That actually looks pretty freaking good. I don't mind the shoulders so much. They're a little small, but it's okay. She looks really good. Too bad. We're doing the blood armor set. We'll see how that goes. I do think it looks really good. I really like the other one too. So we talk to these people. I don't think there's any reason to go up to my. Oh, oh, we gotta go see my hamster. How could I forget my little hamster buddy? It's the end of the world, but you got me, buddy. I also did get another. I think this one was all full. This one's almost done. I think it's just two more. There's gonna be a big one there and a small one there. I think it was like the shuttle or the Turian ship that I got a model of recently, but here we go. Beautiful. Now I'm just suspicious that everywhere I go... Oh, I should talk to Joker, Edie, and Trainer. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? She would love strategy. You play strategy yeah, games? Yeah, I can see her doing that. A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz <gasps> oh. and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we have. Oh my goodness gracious. She would- I think she does kick my butt in chess. She's very smart. I'm not, like, I don't know. Shepard's good at a lot of things, but <laughs> doesn't necessarily make her a chess genius. Trainer's like, I could definitely see her liking strategy games. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. Yeah. Hmm. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby. I know! Up. Apparently, he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. <laughs> Thanks! Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. <laughs> Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of I know. That's the thing, actually. I think taking the Reapers on, or the, the Rachni is actually not a great idea. Because she's like, once you release me from this prison, I won't get captured again. And it's like, well, I guess this But even then, like, all it takes is for the Reapers to, like, beam out whatever yellow note thing it is for her to get... Unless, now that she's grown older, it really did take a physical entrapment to, like, force her... You know, like, since she was older. But that's why she said back in the day that the Rachni started getting violent was because of some mysterious sour yellow note. But maybe now that she's aware of it, it'll have less of a hold on her without being physically captured. Which is why she's not on the front line. Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Oh boy. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. 
The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the shadow broker. Tell me about it. Yeah. Is that it? Hello, Shepard. Okay. I gotta keep an eye on my friends a bit more, make sure they're doing well, and that they're happy. I'm used to just being after um, main missions, but I think now with the fact that they can have sort of ambient dialogue and stuff, you can go and check on them after almost anything. So I need to start doing that. It's still early on. Not too concerned. What? I'm like, I'm ready to go. Freaking, I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Oh my gosh, has it really been... 26 minutes of doing that? No way. Um. I was going to go help Barla Vaughn. We are here? No, we're not here in the Krogan DMZ yet. But especially since now I'm for, I'm more aware of what happens after we do priority to Chanka, actually certain things will, even certain fetch quests will go away, be incomplete if we do not do them before priority to Chanka. Well, before the next, uh, it's mostly before the next thing that happens after priority to Chanka. Um, but I just want to get them all done before we do that because I'm sad girl hours about what happens after well i'm sad girl about chuchanka and i'm sad girl about what happens after chuchanka and also after that yeah there's a lot of sad girl um but we should go help barla Vaughn in the next episode i guess this will be a bit of a short one which is not a bad thing but um there we go just messing around on the ship eavesdropping i enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoyed this one Thank you all so much for joining me. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons who are long-suffering and wonderful people, and I really appreciate all of you. Uh, but especially, I want to say thank you to Reese Calito for being a sapling chair patron. Thank you so much. And another shout out to Adam, my other sapling chair patron. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate. Thank you so much for your support. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.